My thought for the day is seeing beyond the appearance. In the Celtic world, there is a saying which goes, is there a horizon beyond the horizon? I mean, have you ever tried getting to the horizon? Because there is another horizon. And yet, I believe part of the journey is for each of us to discover the horizon beyond the horizon. I have worked this next segment in schools and businesses for several years. What do I have here? Now, most of you are going to say an apple. And that's what happens when I ask groups. They say, it's an apple. And I say, yes. What do I have here? And often what I get is eyes looking at me like, well, we just told you it's an apple. And I say, yeah, expand the vision. What do I have here? And then someone might say, a fruit. And I'm like, yes, expand it. Something healthy. Yes, expand it. And eventually someone will say apple sauce or apple pie, apple strudel. And I'm like, beautiful, expand it. Until finally someone will say, you have seeds. And I'm like, so expand it. And then someone will say, a tree. And I will say, expand it. And then someone will go, an orchard. Yes, right here, I have the potential of an orchard. Of course, it needs to be nurtured, taken care of. And yet here, lies an orchard. And I liken each of us to the apple. Seeds have been scattered inside of us with ideas, ready to burst forth with fruits, if we're willing to nurture them. We are so possible in life. We have so much to offer in this world. And yet, if we only ever see it's an apple, we'll sit there going, mate, it's an apple. It's an apple, get over it, it's an apple. Someone somewhere sees the orchard. Let each of us See the orchard of our lives and bring our fruits of success to the world. I put on this hat and this fiery jacket today because this was what I was wearing on one of the days that I was recording Sacred Outcast, a CD of songs in the Botanic Gardens in Glasgow in a shed. Now, we're all set up, we're, I think we're on about the third day of recording, and into the shed walk some people who were part of the cleanup crew within the gardens. And they were stunned to see us there. They hadn't got the message that we had permission to be there. And they saw me dressed as I was. I had one red shoe and one purple shoe with dragons on them, wearing this hat and this jacket and this jumper. And this one man looked at me and he said, are you from the monster raving loony party? And I said, well, no, I'm not. Are you? I'm here to record a, a CD of songs. Why are you here? And he said, we're part of the cleanup crew. And I said, what a wonderful thing to do. They were all volunteers. Well, he ended up staying for a while within the shed and they were doing some book work whilst others went out to start the cleanup. And he watched as I worked with the other artists who were helping me in recording one of the songs. 
And he sat and he listened to the song, to the words of the song. And after he'd listened for a while and we had a short break, he came up to me and he said, excuse me, I need to apologize to you. I was rather rude. He said, your song, he said, those words are beautiful. He said, I, I, I've just never met anyone looking quite like you before. And I love it because at the end of the day, love won him over. It's about looking beyond the appearance. I yearn on a world and I, I hope as we reweave this world that after this virus has dissipated and we once again can dance upon the land, that we will come far more from our hearts than from our heads. I invite you to see beyond the appearance and discover the orchard in your own life and to see into the hearts of the orchards of other beings that cross your path, to expand your horizons beyond the horizon and to bring the full colours of who you are out to play in this world. In great gratitude, thank you.